Hi, I'm Sapentia. This is very introductory statistics course for beginners. T-test 5. Let's do it. T-test. Okay, today we will uh, go on the T-test, real T-test. Um, the problem we should solve today is like this. The statistical hypothesis is first, null hypothesis is x a bar equal x b bar. Okay, it means that these two college many students hyped are same. The alternative hypothesis is the x a bar and x b bar are not equal. So it means that these two college students height are different. And this type of uh, statistical hypothesis could be changed like this, okay? So we uh, assumed two-tail t-test, right? Okay, what is the next? What should we do? Um, let's remind the g-test. When you do a g-test, we need a z value and a standard normal distribution and of course z table likewise we need a t value and t distribution for t test right the process is very similar almost same so likewise g test uh we need a t value, likewise a g value, t distribution, likewise standard normal distribution. Same process. So first, we need to calculate g value, a t value, sorry, t value. So let me think about the prior case, g value here. The g value was uh, like this. The numerator was difference between x and mean average and is divided by sigma standard deviation the t value is very similar like this let me see one by one t value first of all the numerator is x a var minus x b var this was our statistical hypothesis for null hypothesis we call it equal zero and for alternative hypothesis it was not equal zero right okay and we have a denumerator part likewise the g values are sigma here was just a sigma but we have a s because we have a sample but this as the standard deviation is divided by root n. It looks, I think, uh, it looks very strangely for you. But anyway, I will uh, explain one by one. And uh, uh, different from the g value, in t value, we have a kind of a new concept that is a degree of freedom. This name is very uh, tricky, I think. So many students just give up the statistics at this point. I don't know what is the degree of freedom. Nobody explained this one. Yeah, right. But I will this part explain for you. Okay? Why we call it this one as a degree of freedom. Anyway, let's move to next slide. This one. Let me see. We need to look at the t value very carefully. First of all, as I said, the purpose of a t test is just we want to know if the two means, two group means are same or not. So we want to know if the mean difference equals zero or not, right? It is the same meaning anyway. 
So uh, let's remind the statistical decision making. Okay, our interest major focus is in the numerator, this part, right? We just want to know this difference is same or not statistically, okay? But our question at first time was how big is this value really big? We have a 1.4 centimeter difference, mean difference, okay? So just to using this number, 1.4 centimeter mean difference, can you decide uh, uh, this difference is meaningful or not? It is impossible. So as I said, we need a comparable reference number, okay? So, here, as I said in prior class, we will compare this mean difference, this mean difference with standard deviation. But here, the standard deviation is not only one. Hold the denumerator is kind of a standard deviation here. Why? First of all, the standard deviation means averagely random spread from the mean. Thus, this spread, sometimes we call it spread, difference, or distance anyway, this spread has no meaning because it is just random. Okay? If the mean difference is smaller than standard deviation, I mean numerator part, it means the mean difference is meaningless because here, as you can see here, this part is our interest and focus, and this part is just meaningless random spread. So if this numerator is smaller than this random spread, maybe this difference is meaningless, right? But here our question is maybe, okay, I understand this process, but what is the root n? I um, make uh, some simulation graph here. This is the role of root n. Uh, you remember what is the n here? The small n means sample size, right? n is sample size. For example, how many um, uh, students are in this sample? Okay, 100, 200, 300, anyway. That is a sample size. That is small n. Here, I uh, show uh, four types of uh, graph. The blue one here, this blue one, blue one is standard normal distribution. Okay, this one is a standard normal distribution. Mean is zero and standard deviation is one. And from the bottom side, the yellow line, this one is T distribution for DF1. DF1 means the sample size is only two. The degree of freedom is calculated anyway, n minus one. So here, okay, if we have a very small sample, the uh, T, distribu T distribution looks like this line, okay? And when the sample size is growing up from 1, 3 to 30, this graph just goes up and very, very close to the standard normal distribution. Can you check here? So, what is the role of root n or sample size n? It means that if you have a larger sample size, you can use and uh, your uh, sample distribution is more close to standard normal distribution. Okay? 
So our question is why does the T belly look like this? Sometimes um, my teachers and professors just said, hey, just remember, just memorize this equation, T value. But I don't think so. We must know why this T value equation looks like this. Okay, so if the mean difference numerator part is smaller than standard deviation denomination part, denominator part, it means that this event or this mean difference is just occurred by chance because this is just a random difference, okay? And this is a kind of our interest, our focus. Also, this is a kind of a distance. These two are distance concept. However, this one, denominator is just a random spread. There is no meaning in this number. So if the numerator should be larger than denominator, OK? So uh, what is the root n? The summary is here. When the sample size n increases, t value increases. Can you understand that? OK, I'll be back to the, um, OK, here. No, this one is good. OK, our t value is here, and this one is uh, root n. If root n is increasing, the denominator is decreasing, right? And the denominator decreasing, the total t value increasing. Understand? On the other hand, if sample size n is decreasing, in that case, denominator increasing, and denominator increasing, the total t value decreasing. Right? Understand? So, okay. Finally, uh, the summary is like this. When the sample size, the sample size n increase, t value also increase, right? But I will explain later anyway, the large t value increase our uh, test significance. It means that large t value shows a very small or smaller p value. Anyway, also, when the sample size n increases, t distribution moves to the standard normal distribution, right? We check this uh, kind of some patterns in the graph. So because degree of freedom is calculated as m minus 1, when sample size increases, in that case, df also increases. df is a degree of freedom. Degree of freedom increases means our freedom is increased, right? What does it mean that? In statistics, if we can use normal distribution, standard normal distribution, it is our freedom because it is very, and I think uh, the most easiest way in statistics. So if we can use uh, the standard normal distribution, you are very, very free. You have a freedom. So when sample size uh, increases, our DF increases, so uh, we are more, uh, we have more freedom, so we are good anyway. Thus, larger degree of freedom means that we could use standard normal distribution instead of T distribution. However, here we will use T distribution and T value and T table here because we have a sample anyway, okay? Um, let's back to our example of a t-test. Now we will do real t-test here. Okay. The problem we should solve is here. We want to know 
these two college male students are same or not in their height anyway of course there is a 1.4 mean difference between these two groups however we don't know this mean difference is large or not statistically so we calculate t value and the t value is like this for example for your um easy understandings i just make uh, two numbers for standard deviation and sample size we have a uh, 7.05 uh, 7.05 standard deviation and uh, sample size is uh, 101 just i make Okay, this is an example. And if we calculate this T value, that is a 1.996. That is our T value. And what is the next? Just think about the G value. After we find the G value and then we check G table. Right, we have a T table. In any statistical textbook has this T table in the uh, back of the textbook anyway. Our T value is uh, 1.996. And uh, the problem is that uh, the uh, T table is a little bit different from G table. There are so many numbers, but it looks different, very, anyway. I will let you know one by one. First of all, at the first row, we have uh, three lines here. Cumulative probability, one tail, two tail. Okay. Do you remember which one is uh, our uh, case? We choose, we choose two tails test because our statistical hypothesis was two-tail test. So we check the third rows here. And we want to know the 5%, 5% p-value, OK? This number is a, a p-value, OK? You must know this one is a p-value, OK? This is a p-value. So we want to know this one. Point 0, 0.05, okay? So first one, second one, write this. You must first find one tail, two tail, and second, you uh, just find a 0 0.05. If you want to know 0 0.10, you can check here. However, we will go this column, okay? So our number is uh, 1.996, but here, let me see one more thing different thing is uh, this part is df degree of freedom do you remember our degree of freedom our sample size was uh, 101 so m minus 1 is 100 okay so we will find 100 like this one 100 okay and uh, 5% uh, was here, so this number is uh, 1.984. What does it mean that? Um, first of all, different from the G table, the T table doesn't show P value. This number is not P value. P value was here, okay? Here. P, uh, P value was here. So this number, the one point something here, 1.984 is not p-value. What is this? We call it critical value, CV, right here, okay, CV. So what is the CV? If you want to understand uh, CV, we need to check the T distribution. Mm -hmm. But before going to the T distribution, I want to say one thing for you. Uh, as you can see here, the DF is increasing from 1 to uh, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then 1,000, and there is nothing. And next one is G value. 
Why? Why? As you can see here, these numbers are very close to G value, right? So when the DF increases, these numbers are close to Z value. This is the uh, same as I said when the uh, sample size is increased uh, at the time the DF is also increases and then our distribution is very close to the standard normal distribution. Okay? These numbers are close to standard normal distribution. Okay. Let's check the T distribution here. The number in T table was 1.984, right? This is a CV, critical value. This critical value means the point 1.984 right side and minus 1.984. 984 left side, the area, these red areas are 5%. Because, because if you check this part, these columns are 1.05 for two tails. Okay, we have two tails, right? And 1.984 and right side, left side areas are 5%. And our T value is very little bit larger than this critical value, CV, right? So in this case, our P value is larger than 5% or smaller than 5%. How do you think about that? Um, it looks like a, um, difficult, but simply easy. If our value is larger than critical value, our P value is smaller than 5%, right? And the one more thing is, uh, okay, we, uh, tested the two tails. So the sum of two tails are 5%. It should be, right? So this part is 2.5%. Uh, this part is 2.5%, okay? Anyway, our value, our T value is larger than critical value. It means that our P value, P value is area, is smaller than 5% because, uh, for example, it is very uh, small difference. However, in this um, graph, Let's check the uh, numbers. Okay, this is this is 1.984, and our T value is a little bit inside here, right? A little bit inside here. So our area is smaller than this number's area, right? So our p-value is smaller than 5%. If you want to check the exact p-value, you can use the XL. Here is the uh, XL um, function, T-D-I-S-T, T-distribution, okay? Here, the function is equal uh, T-D-I-S-T, and the first number is uh, t-value, 1.996, our p-value, okay? And the second number is uh, df, degree of freedom right and the third one is uh two tail if you check if you want to check the one tail just to change the number from two to one and if you just to enter this excel shows numbers like uh point uh zero four eight something as you can see here it is smaller than 0.05, 5%. So our result means, okay, it is significant. What does it mean that? 
Um, let's summary our example. First of all, we assume the two-tail test and standard deviation is 7.05 and sample size uh, uh, was uh, 101. And we calculate the t-value and then the number was uh, 1.996 and degree of freedom was 100, like this. And using these two number, okay, and the two tail information, uh, we checked the t table and found the number of critical value that was uh, 1.984. And finally, we, we found that our t value, our t value is this one, is larger than critical value. So the p value is smaller than 5%, and exactly it was 0 0.048 something. Right? Thus, the probability that the mean difference 1 point per centimeter is occurred by chance is less than 5%. This probability is less than 5%. Right? So, it means that we can conclude that the two colleges' main students' height is statistically and significantly different. Okay. Uh, finally, so the two colleges male student height is significantly different. And once again, it means that the mean difference is not occurred by chance because the probability is less than 5%. So there might be any reason why the two colleges male students height is different. Okay, that is significant. I mean, when we call, when we say the significant means, maybe there is a significant reason, something reason, but we don't know now anyway. So in other words, there will be a logical cause on this difference. So sometimes we uh, interpreted this result uh, as a, uh, causal relationship sometimes yeah it could be but uh, here we don't know why so we don't know the cause but anyway the difference is not occurred by chance maybe there is a something any reason for the difference okay i will stop here today t test five let's do it t test mm -hmm.